Hi, in this video we're going to talk about your banner. If you're using a pre-made CSS template, you're going to have to figure out what size that area is. Otherwise, if you're creating it from scratch, something around 800 pixels wide and maybe 150 tall would be good. But again, it depends on the template that you're using. So I'm going to set up a new canvas. And I've got a picture that I'm going to start with. I'm going to paste it in here. And the picture I got is too small, so I'm going to want to find a larger picture because you don't ever want to make a small picture larger. But let's say I find a larger version of this and I want to really center the theme of this banner around this bear but keep all the colors on my site and these blues. So if I need to add text to this banner, you can use the color dropper tool to grab that text. So I can click on this over here and then I can click anywhere in my picture to pull that color. And now I know the color code for my website, unless I use a color scheme generator. And I can grab the text tool. And I can start adding um, text for my banner for this site. And we'll grab that color again. To resize it, I can grab the Move tool and I can resize so that I can actually see what I'm doing here. You can add some other fun effects to your text by double clicking in the layer. Let me move my screen over so you can see that. Just double click to the right of the layer and you've got all these options such as bevel, stroke, shadow, glow, I always like drop shadow and bevel together makes it look a lot nicer. You can even transform the text up here by using this option if needed. And you can change those settings slightly here if you don't want it to be so drastic. In the end though, make sure that your Photoshop project is professional. Keep in mind a good tool to remove backgrounds is the quick select tool. I always use the quick select to remove the background and then I throw a mask over it. This is your mask button to hide the background. You can smooth out the edges by grabbing the properties button right here after you've added a mask.